So in today's video, I'm drilling some holes in the tractor. This is a three quarter inch spade blade and just using some WD-40 as a lubricant and coolant, I could pop that three quarters inch hole straight through. Here we are at the back left fender. I'm also drilling a matching hole through on the other side so that I can fit this three quarter inch jack shaft through. Uh, this is going through these two holes and it's long enough to cross the entire box with the bit sticking out on both sides. It also has a groove in it so I can slide a, a square key in there to hold in place a sprocket. So right here we've got the sprocket, I'll slide that on, and then I also bought a couple of bearings. I'm going to have a bearing on either side of the box here. So I slid uh, those onto the shaft and temporarily put the shaft in place. Now what this is going to do is uh, lets me know where the holes for these bearings need to go. So once I kind of have the entire shaft in position, I'll be able to mark those. Now, of course, the sprocket actually has to line up with the input of the transmission, which is straight below. So if I line that up and we look down the hole, that's where the chain needs to go from this jack shaft down to that sprocket that's that I mounted on the transmission. And we can see it through the hole right there. So with the flange bearing in place, I can first mark the hole with my auto punch. After that, start drilling holes, starting small, eighth inch bit and a little lubricant. Uh, drill all the way through for both holes and then work my way up all the way to a three eighths inch. Clean it up, put the flange bearing on there. And then start test fitting some bolts to go with that. There you go, mounted bearing. I don't know about you, but to me, this is starting to look like a machine. I got a sprocket on the transmission input. I got the flange bearing temporarily mounted. And then up on the jack shaft, I've got my sprocket to match up with that input uh, on the driven shaft of the transmission. I don't have the holes drilled for the other uh, flange bearing yet, but that'll go right there. Uh, the other thing is I ran out of sprockets. I do not have a sprocket to put on here yet. I'm waiting for that mail order. That should come pretty soon, um, but I'm pretty excited. It's starting to look like a machine. Woohoo! Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for more on this project, and of course I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check out some of my other videos. As always, please visit 300mpg.org for more clean transportation do-it-yourself projects. Until next time, stay charged up.